In the last tutorial, we installed Joomla 3 into a localhost server. Now, this has been installed using XAMPP, and uh, you, of course, will need to install it into your own if you want to proceed and do the same stuff that I'm going to be doing. Now, what we're going to be talking about is creating templates for Joomla. In order to understand this, though, we need to understand about how Joomla kind of works. And that's Joomla is very different than some other content management systems, um, at least from something like WordPress, because um, everything that you kind of do for the template is really done in the back end a lot of ways. Um, the template isn't quite as, as important in certain ways as what you do in the administration, I guess is a better way of putting it. So first off, we have our different content. We have articles and we have components and we have extensions and modules. Content is where you might create articles and you might have other things here as well than articles. Um, components are something that you install. We have ones that are built into this already. Um, your main component basically is the main content of your page. That's kind of just what you want to look at. Um, and if you uh, create a menu link that opens up an article, that's going to go into the component of your page. The next thing are your um, modules. Now the module manager is really what helps you understand this. If I go to the module manager, these are the main modules that are being used by this current website. We have newsflash, footer, search, main menu, breadcrumbs, image, a side module, and a login form. And these are given to different positions on my template. Now the position numbers that they have here, position 0, 1, um, 0, position 1, position 2, position 3, these are kind of just randomly chosen positions in a way. You commonly see these in um, Joomla templates, but I like seeing things like footer as a position because footer is a name that you will kind of know where that goes. Now, I did a random search of Joomla templates um, are looking for Joomla, Joomla module positions, and I came up with all sorts of different results. Here's one of those. This is a Joomla template where they show you a red box around the different modules and a blue box around the component. Once again, the component is the main content of your page, and these other ones are module positions that you have associated with your template. For example, we have top, user 3, user 4, left, user 1, user 2, right, and then breadcrumb over here. If I go to a different one, they're going to have completely different module positions. This one has user 4 and, and copyright, and the user 4 is in a completely different place than the user 4 was on that particular template. Here's another one which has user 4 at the top right for search, and user 6, user 5, drop menu, left, right, and then the component in the middle. Here's another one that has even more. I mean, there's up to user 14 here. Another one has all sorts of different things all different places. Now what I like is when things have semantic names and here's an example of maybe a semantic one except for user 4 at least they say top or maybe they could call it top nav left right breadcrumb main feature main 2 um, main body main feature 2 main 2 feature main 2 feature and I'd be confused with what's main 2 versus main 2 feature or main Let's see, main feature 2 and main 2 feature. And you know, what really is the difference between those things? Here's the footer, and footer 2, footer 2, footer 3, 3, 3, footer 4, 4, 4, and 4, and then up to user 6. It makes no sense to me. So here is another one where they said, well, why don't you give more semantic names so you can really determine what goes where. Toolbar, logo, top, menu, featured, grid top, grid top two, and so on and so forth. Now, I think personally that this should match your HTML markup, meaning that if you have a section which is called your main content or sidebar or a side right or a side left, that you make your module positions match those because it just makes logical sense. Anyway, moving on. Now, the question is what content goes into these different modules? If we take a look, right now we have one menu that is created. That's the main menu. 
If I look in my module manager, I can find the main menu here, and it tells me that the type of that thing is a menu and that it's going into position one. If I click on this, I could change this to a different position. Now the positions that are showing up are the positions that are in the um, current templates that have been installed into Joomla already. Now we could actually type out a name here or we could choose a module position that exists in another template. Now we can also assign this module to all pages, no pages, or only on certain pages. So we could say that the main menu would only show when you are on the home page and no other page. Now that can be kind of weird of course, but this is where the power of Joomla really exists. That means you can assign whatever modules to appear on whatever pages with whatever menu that you want. Let me do select, I want to select all, just make sure that that's there. Um, so th it's kind of interesting what you can do because you can have as many menus as you want in Joomla. You can have all those manuals menus associated with different module positions or different modules and of course you can have more than one piece of content in a particular module. For example, let's take a look at this side module and login form. Right now they're in module 7 and you'll see both of them are there so let me take a look at the details about this. You'll see that I can choose whether or not to have the side module before or after the login form when two different things share the same module position. So now you'll see the login form appears above the side module. So these module positions are very, very important because they're going to come into play big time with our template in just a minute. If you wanted to make multiple menus, you can certainly make multiple menus. Um, and going to the menu, this is actually going to be really important as well, because um, when you create menu items, those menu items will link to the different types of components or extensions or even modules that you have installed already. Um, and of course, you sometimes want to make multiple menus and have them appear um, in different module positions. So things can get pretty complicated in Joomla pretty quick, um, but we're going to try and make it not so difficult when we go on to creating our first template, which is going to be in the next tutorial. So go on.